right now I'm posting whatever and I'm loving it. I can post whatever I want. Yeah. If it's a vlog, if it's me interviewing, I can do that with anybody. Mm. I can be like, hey, and I can ask him anything. Like tomorrow I'm going to interview everyone. So you're not even playing. You're going to be interviewing? Oh, no, I'm playing. Oh, you're doing While play? I'm playing, I'm interviewing. <laughs> <laughs> While I stack someone, I'm going to be getting the chips. Hey, Trumper, Eric. Oh, that's savage. Yeah. I'd be pissed if someone was stacking me and beating me. And, and, and asking you politics. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, finally made it happen. Two years in the making. We got Tommy What's up, here brother? Today. How are you? God damn, I'm it's great good, to man. see you. Can I call you a professional poker player now? No. I mean, I wish, but like probably not yet. Still an amateur? Yeah. Okay. I, I suck, man. I mean, you are good. traveling to countries to play. I would say so. Yeah, yeah. I, That's uh, better than most. Yeah, I uh, had a girlfriend, um, past girlfriend that lived in Australia, and when I got to Australia one time, there was the WSOP. So you can say I traveled. <laughs> you can say I came twelfth. Okay. I did come twelfth in the main event. No, it was a, it was a side event, but it was still a good field. Yeah. Still a great field. What um, was the buy-in? I think like 500. Okay, so like you that, made so. good ROI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was good. Nice. I had fun. It was like a three-day event made close to final table um i had fun though so that is the farthest long distance relationship i've ever heard of don't even yeah <laughs> yeah long long yeah yep australia damn you literally can't get any farther no that's 18 I couldn't. hours I couldn't. right i couldn't yeah damn yeah it was an eight, 18 hour flight and now you're in vegas or did you move from la yeah so no i uh i lived in vegas when i was 20 oh. for about nine months and then i've been in la ever since so okay. three years three four years la or vegas la whoa yeah I got to disagree with you on that. What do you mean? Oh, L.A. or Vegas? Yeah. I hate L.A. Sorry. I thought you were oh, saying, oh, where do I live? There we I go. Like, I told you. Vegas, 100%. Yeah. Anywhere but L.A. I hate L.A. I was shocked Absolutely you said L.A. I'm okay. sorry. I hate L.A. <laughs> if it wasn't for the people, I would not be in L.A. Yeah. Yeah. But you're in the social media scenes. So you got to be out there. I have. Like, I had. Yeah. Like, now I feel like I don't need to. But back then, when, like, TikTok was the thing, I had to. Yeah. Like, that's I, where everyone was. 100%. I noticed you don't post as much. Yeah. I would say the past like this year i think and like i'm gonna sound like an idiot like i know but i've been doing social media for like six years and when i started it was every single day and i treat it as a like nine to five job yeah. and i feel like just after the six year mark i kind of just like i would say got burnt out because i didn't enjoy it as much as i did so i feel like over the past couple months especially this year i've like slowed down on posting yeah. which i still post every week on everything it's just nothing like it was i was posting like three times a day yeah. stuff like that so like snapchat for instance every single day i'm still posting right. um i still post on ig stuff like that but it's definitely not as much as it was mm -hmm. at all i feel like you pioneered a new content style with your interviews oh for sure like you were the first to do that i would of. say people were doing it on youtube and that's not even where i got it i started doing my interviews on TikTok because there was two hot girls. Mm -hmm. um, and back then, and even now, I'm horrible at talking to girls. <laughs> so I wanted an icebreaker and I just asked them, hey, can I interview you? And they were like, ah, sure. And then I just asked them how attractive I was and they gave me like fours. Yeah. So <laughs> I just posted that off the whim. I was this awkward white high schooler. Like it just, it, it was just funny. Yeah. And from that, I did it every day and I just had fun with it. So you were actually awkward with girls? Because I thought that was a like a role you were oh, playing. Oh, bro. I mean, it was like 50-50. Like, yeah. I just, I <laughs> love being awkward, especially my content. I just love being this like awkward guy who doesn't know what to say. And I like, I say the wrong things. Yeah. But back then, for sure. Oh, 100%, dude. Oh, yeah. So you I, had some confidence I, I issues. Could, oh, dude. I, I couldn't talk to a girl. <laughs> Save my life. Damn. Absolutely not. So what changed? I don't know. I don't think anything changed. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you pulled some beautiful girls since Thank then. You, you know? Thank so, you, man. Thank you. Yeah. I think you got some confidence, yeah, um, some money. I'm dating a mom now. Nice. So that's crazy. A MILF? Nah, yeah, yeah, 100%. How yeah. old? She's 23. Oh, So okay. my age, but she has an awesome kid. Nice. Um, so that wasn't a turnoff for you? No, no. Wow. No. Like, I, I thought it was hot. That's a mature take. Dude, I don't know, man. Because guys well, are age. my dad left me. So I'm just going to follow in his footsteps and in four <laughs> years leave the kid. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm never doing that. But yeah. no, no, for real, though, because guys our age, if they see a girl with a kid, yeah. I would say. I mean, it wasn't like a scary thing. It, like, I definitely thought about it before I like got really like committed to her. You yeah. know, like, I, I, I thought about it. And like after just seeing her with him and it, like it honestly made me like like her more. Wow. Like, it was crazy. I thought it was going to be the opposite. I yeah, thought it was yeah. going to be like. Damn, this is a big responsibility. No, I think it's awesome. I will say for me, it, it might be a turn on in the sense of she's like purpose driven with it. Yeah. And it like she's really mature for her age. Bro. Nice. Like, in my opinion, that's just me. And so, that's hard to find in 100%. 23 years. Oh, olds. yeah. 100%. Yeah. So, no, yeah. I only hang out with people older than me, to be honest. There you go. Are you like that too? 
I would say so. I feel like a lot of people in LA like are like 28, 27. Yeah. So you're 23? 23, yeah. Damn. Yeah. So you, you blew up at such a young age. 17. Holy. <laughs> so you were in high school. Uh, the year I graduated was when I started blowing up. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Like did, it was. Did that yeah. shit get to you? Cause you're so young and like. No, I just loved it. I had fun. Like my school loved me doing it. Um, I, I just started gaining a lot. And then when I turned 18, I just told my parents cause my parents used to model. I don't know what the <laughs> happened to me, but my parents modeled. So they kind of knew what it was like to travel and go to LA cause they moved to LA for modeling. Oh, okay. So when I told them, Hey, I'm doing the social media thing at first, they're like, yeah, you're ass go to college. But then they're like, you know what? We did it. Like. Just let you do it, and thank God they did. Damn, because it all worked out. So you went so. off on your own? Oh, completely on my own. Holy, completely. Like eighteen, I was. Was that like a cross scary, country? Scary time though. Mm -mm. You just embraced it. So fully? much fun. But I think it was only because I knew so many people online, and I made great connections. And then when I got to LA, it's kind of like I had friends because like we were all doing social media, right? And we all moved to LA, and it was just fun. So where were you before that? Sorry? Where were you before LA? Michigan. 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 So you Cal were like Mizzou, the only Michigan. content creator out there, probably. Yeah, <laughs> it was me. If you ever heard of Two Turn Tony. Oh, actually, I have. Yeah, um, but he's older. He's like 29 or 30 now. Yeah. And then that was pretty much it. Like, yeah. no one really from Michigan. So, like, no one really understood what I was doing, especially back then. Yeah. So you really didn't fit in? No. Oh, absolutely not. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, no one un really. It sucked. And I, I think that's why me moving to LA, like, helped me so much was no one around like no one was doing what i was doing right. so i couldn't lean on advice for my like college roommate mm. he'd be like dude i'm studying so it's <laughs> like what are we doing yeah you know so so what gave you that conviction you think that you were just on the right path i i from i couldn't remember i wanted to be a youtuber i just told myself i'm like this is my dream i'm doing it and i feel like i was always one of those kids that had no direction after high school mm. i did not know what the fuck i wanted to do i think i was gonna go be a cop like if yep. I wasn't doing this wow. and not because I wanted to just because I was like, oh, well, I'm going to be a cop. And then when I started social media, I was like, I can make this work. Mm -hmm. Like the, the second I got my first brand deal, I'm like, okay, I'm not stopping. Like Damn. I am going hundred percent. Nice. And did, when you eventually got out of that recognition, was it everything you thought it would be? Yeah. I would say I, I would always like not get mad, but I used to watch a lot of YouTube like back then, yeah. like just to, like follow all my favorite creators and stuff. And I, w I was always so confused when they're like, all right, guys, like, I'm taking a month break, <laughs> doing this. Because I'm like, you do nothing. Like, you yeah. make a video. Like, what's up? And now that I'm in the scene, and, I, and like, I just told you, I feel like a year ago I got burnt out, quote, yeah. unquote. I just feel like I now I completely understand. Because I was like, dude, how do you have a worry of all this money and you're making videos? Yep. Like, shut the <laughs> up. But now it's like I can understand why people get burnt out. I used to think that too. Oh, the same. Yeah. With Logan Paul when he took a break. Exactly, yeah. You're he like, was, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, he, he was vlogging every day every for day. what, five years? Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, it sounds That's insane. Like a fun lifestyle, but. I, well, I feel like it's any other job. I feel like there's pros and cons to every yeah. job. You know, yeah. like, I don't know one job that's like 100% pro. Like, there's going to be pros and cons. Granted, I feel like social media creators are blessed. Like, I feel like I'm blessed. I think so overall. I think overall it's a blessing. And I feel like a lot of social media creators, I feel like there's a little luck involved, like a little bit, just if you're on the right algorithm or you do it at the right time. Um, but other than that, I, I still feel like there's cons to it. Agreed. You know? So have you seen this neon Nick Merckx back and forth? Mm -mm. Do you know neon the streamer? I know neon is just trying to fight everyone. Everyone <laughs> hates him. So but. he said being a streamer is the hardest thing in the world. Okay, that I don't agree with. Yeah, he yeah. said it's like the hardest I job. Don't, I don't agree with that. Like I definitely stopped streaming because I used to stream every day for two years. Yeah. And I just fell out of love with it to do it every single day. Dude, you, like a lot of these kids are making hundreds of thousand dollars like a month turning on the camera and playing a video game for four hours when kids are doing that for free. Right. So like I understand what he means by like you have to be entertaining and you have to like show your best side to you. I get that. It is draining, but it's not the hardest job in the world, bro. Oh, my God. It is quite a, quite a statement. Nick That's Merckx, a statement. Yeah, yeah, Nick Merckx went off on him for that statement. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying nowhere near yeah. the hardest job in the world. I agree. It's not as easy as people think, but yes. it's not as hard as That's he's making it. perfect way to say it. Yeah. But like he also plans it, so it's kind of intense. I don't get it. Like, like his skits? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, like, I don't know. That I, That's a crazy statement. That's yeah. a crazy statement. I mean, he's getting views, but it's kind of like that Jack Doherty situation where, like, at what cost? No, right. I feel like they're both getting views, but everyone hates them. Right. Like, no one likes them. <laughs> like, I, I don't know why you want views when everyone hates you. Yeah. 
there's a balance, right? And you and Bryce do well with it where you guys get hate, but you, you learn how to like deal with it. Oh, I love it. I love the hate, but I'm not trying to piss people off. Like, I feel like they're trying right. to make that content. Like, I'll, I'll just be dumb and say some stupid shit and people are like, eh, why'd you say that? But I'm not trying to go out of my way to piss people off. Right. Like, I see Jack's clips and he's like bumping into people on the side trying to like start fights. <laughs> like all this With like, the security guard. Like, bro, no one's going to like you. Like, yeah. no one, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think they'll, you think they'll kind of learn eventually or? Not really. Because, really? well, I just feel like, I don't know. I can tell it's probably all like a skit and they know it gets views and I respect everyone's grind. But I feel like probably when they get older and they're trying to settle down, they'll be like, damn, I, I was an idiot. Yeah. Like, I was just a dumbass. Kind of like Jake Ball's evolution. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like yeah. he crushes it now. I feel like he's. I feel like he changed really well. Oh, yeah. He was so Very hated. Well. He was oh, the he was most so, hated. The, the most hated person alive. By far. Alive. And I that, still think the Paul brothers are one of the best marketers of all time. I agree. I mean, I look at them. I think they are the best. I saw Jake. He he put at his fight. He had a boxing, like, one of those, like, bags. Punches bag? Yeah, that. But it was his face. Oh. Like, that's a genius. Smart. Because everyone hates him. Yeah. Like, that's so genius. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. They both started two nine-figure companies in like a year i don't get it it's nuts they're crazy no it's dope would you ever get into boxing influencer fighting um i've been offered one i would i just think because i definitely wouldn't want to lose yeah and i am definitely you know as you can see i work out every single day <laughs> um it would like take like i i would put my heart into it and yeah. that would take a long time to train so i just i don't have that in me i've yeah. never been in one fight wow like ever like i've never been physical with one person damn ever so like I don't know. It'd be tough. Yeah, because I've, I've never hit someone. Yeah. Like, ever. No, you see that with Logan. Like, he kind of holds back in a way. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have that Jake Paul dog. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Do you still play basketball? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I've joined leagues. Um, I just played in high school, and then I started social media. I wasn't that good for college. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'll play, like, at least once a week. We might have to run. Oh, I'm down, dude. Anytime. One-on-one. -on -one. Anytime. Yeah, you're, like, one of the people I know that's tall. Yeah. Every time I see you, I know it's you. I'm, I'm like, decent. That I'm decent. Fuck, he is tall. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to find good uh, content creators that are good at basketball. Oh, I know. Dude. Like, I really know. hard. Because yeah. Bryce sucks. Um, yeah, Bryce doesn't really play sports. Yeah. Other than yeah. fighting. Other than fighting. Yeah. He could fight. Oh, I mean, he, he that's probably. No, I think Bryce is one of the, like, oh, like people just think, oh, he's Bryce Hall. He's not a good fighter. He's actually a dog. No, dude. he's a dog. No, he's a dog. And I could argue that's probably the most important sport. I would never mess with him ever. I yeah. wouldn't. Personally. I mean, you do mess with them, though. No, I do, but like, <laughs> in a serious matter, I would never mess with them. I feel that. Yeah. Uh, I saw on another podcast you said you don't like one night stands. <laughs> Where the f did you get that? I did my research. You did my research on me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I would say I just like back then. I feel like especially like with my content and stuff, it was all girl driven. Like yeah. I was doing the hot tubs. I was doing that, but. I, I just think even when I was in college and stuff, I just didn't like it. Like, I just, I like to date to marry. Yeah. I don't like to date just to date. And I feel like I'm a very, like, I have a lot of emotions for a guy. Mm. Like, I feel like a lot of guys my age are just like, I don't give a f I don't give a f I care, in my opinion. So I just feel like it just, I don't know. Wow. Just one night stands. Just... No, for you to admit that, though, probably. Oh, to yeah. You, no, dude, because, so... like, what? You, you do it, you wake up, she leaves, you never see her again. What the hell was the point? Yeah. No, I'm the same way. I've no, been, yeah, you just, you, it's like, okay. It's whatever. I've all been right. with my chick for six years. I see all my single friends get with five girls a that, week. That's and, what I'm saying. It's like, dude, no. No, they're literally not. miserable. It's yeah, crazy. That's what I'm saying. But the, that lifestyle is glorified. I know. It, it, it's crazy. Like, it's, it's not crazy. It's not good for guys. No. that not with us all. emotionally. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Glad to see you bringing back traditional values, man. They, they, I'm trying, man. <laughs> you learn that from yeah, parents. Yeah, a lot of people don't think that, especially with the content I made, like, everyone and that's another reason why i feel like i stopped content or not stop content but i i'm like trying to change is like that i'm i'm gonna say it that character i did with the hot tub yeah like it was me but it wasn't because now everyone thinks i'm just this frat guy <laughs> and like i'm i thought you were shot. I, I ever, no I, and i don't blame them like everyone thinks all i do is like bring over girls and shotgun beer and get in a hot tub but like it's literally the opposite yeah. like after that stream was done dude like we would either hang out Get out like it was it, it was nothing what people wow oh bro so the girls were probably like what the <laughs> bro it was more like dude i was just having fun like because they were all friends of yeah. mine it, it was just like uh, like friends yeah. so it, it was like like i just and to be fair i was really young every single time i did a hot tub stream it 
did crazy numbers and I was just having fun with it. And then as I got older, even though it was like two, three years, I just realized my image sucks. Mm. Like on a personal level, because I'll still get the college guys that come up to be like, dude, you're lit. Just like you said, right, guys right. glorify getting with a bunch of girls. But I, but just overall, like me, I just did not like that image wow. at all. That's, that's yeah. deep, man. So where do you want to pivot this on? Because do you still feel like you have that image? No, like not anymore. Like especially over the course of like past two years, I've stopped that completely. Yeah. But um, and I, I'm not saying I regret anything because I had a lot of fun. I just think it's more of like I'm still me. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm really not that frat guy that everyone thinks I yeah, am. Yeah, yeah. So do you want to switch to a specific type of content like gambling no, or something? Dude, I mean, I, I right now I'm posting whatever and I'm loving it. Like I feel like like especially on my Snapchat and TikTok, like I can post whatever I want. Yeah. If it's a vlog, if it's me interviewing because the interview is really cool and i love it because i can do that with anybody mm. anyone i want right you know like i can be like hey and i can ask him anything like tomorrow i'm gonna interview everyone trump or harris like, <laughs> that's gonna be an awkward ass question but it's it's great yeah so that's smart yeah dude. so you're not even playing you're gonna be interviewing oh no i'm playing oh you're doing while play? i'm playing i'm interviewing <laughs> <laughs> While I stack someone, I'm gonna be getting the chips. Hey, Trumper Harris. Oh, that's savage. Yeah. I'd be pissed if someone was stacking me and beating and, and, and asking you politics. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Do, have you publicly backed anyone? Huh? Have you publicly Trump. like? Oh, you have. Oh yeah. So that that's wasn't a dog. fear of yours to lose your audience, bro. I I gained. Oh, you gained. Oh, bro. I can't tell you how many DMs I got because I posted that photo of Trump holding the like went right as he got shot yeah. in the ear, and I posted that. I cannot tell you the love I got. Really? Oh my god. Wow. I don't think I got one hate. Because before, when you posted Trump, like, a few years ago, you lost one. Oh, of yeah. And, like, I feel like we were all scared back then. For sure. But, like, I grew up, before my dad left, he told me, um, never talk about politics or religion. Yeah. So just growing up, I never did. And I really never got into it. But over the course of, like, two years and stuff and realized, okay, this country is weird. Um, <laughs> um, I've gotten a little more in. And I'm not even into politics that much. It's just, like... After seeing everything and see uh, like everything going down, I'm definitely more on that side. Nice. For sure. I'm the same way. Yeah, I grew up exactly. a Democrat though. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I feel. Like I feel like my, my like I grew up not talking about politics. I don't even know what my parents are. Oh really? Oh yeah. It was that like. Oh bro, we never. I don't remember having one political <laughs> discussion ever. Zero. Holy crap. I don't know. Like, yeah. That's nuts. Oh yeah. You don't know your own parents where no, they stand. No, like I don't, dude. I don't talk to politics about everyone. I think just since I was young, I thought I was gonna get beat up, which <laughs> I could have. But I just remember everyone's like, "Do not talk about that," dude. which I get. It's you know, it's a heated topic. There's heated topics like yeah that you don't talk about. Some parents have those you know topics where it's off off the table. Nah, that's what I'm saying. For some people it's finances. Some people it's sex. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You know. Yeah. I feel like I'll be pretty open with my kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Dude, I I'm going to be open about everything. Like, my <laughs> kids. I'm going to tell my kids when I <laughs> their mom. I will. No, I think it's important, though. They got to see the real world. You can't shelter them. 100%. Like, they're going to be weak. I agree. And when you grow up in an environment with money, it's easy to be weak. Oh, super easy to be weak. Like, you see their, those kids and they're 100%. like, you know, yep. kind of brats or whatever. I agree. So, Fully agree. We'll have to deal with that. But, yep. dude, what else are you doing? Chilling, man. <laughs> Playing the stupid poker. You seem like you had a good spot in life. Oh, dude, I, I feel like I am mentally and I just feel like I'm happy. You nice. know, in a new relationship that's going great. Everything else is going great in my life. I'm starting like side projects. I'm just doing this and that, trying to be a pro poker player. Um, I'm into golf. I play every single fucking okay. day. Um, so no, it, good. Oh, yeah. It's great. Yeah, it's cool to see you not get caught up in the, the followers and the social media world. Oh, dude, you can ask any single person that grew up with me. I am the exact same. It, there's not one sentence wow. I've said. You ask anyone. So you haven't changed at all? Um, you can ask any single person. I am the same dude from high school. How did the level of fame not get to you, though? At all. I, I saw it as this is my hobby. I have fun. Getting views felt like dopamine. So I feel like I have an addictive personality mm -hmm. when it comes to stuff. But I feel like it's the good things. So I feel like I got like addicted to social media, but posting. So I just loved seeing the numbers grow. It wasn't for the fame. It wasn't like I was addicted to people coming up to me or mm. taking photos. I just loved seeing my numbers grow. Right. Um, and I never saw it. Like, like I'll, I'll go home and go out and let's say in my hometown, I'll take like 10 photos at a Target or something. Yeah. A bunch of my friends are like, dude, why do you act the same? Like, <laughs> like, like they treat me the exact dumbass that I was. Wow. I'm like, dude, because like there's no point of changing at all. I just, if I live in a 
a new city. I'm still posting content. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. For a lot of people, though, they switch up. They leave everyone behind. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know why people do that. I've never done that. I still talk to everyone from my high school, yeah. like everyone I try to as much as I can. Um, I mean, I see it from a business point of view. You want to surround yourself with like successful people. I 100% get that. But you never not talk to the people that you like came up with. Right. You know, if you're still close with them. 100%. You know? Yeah. Like right. I don't go and go out of my way to talk to people in high school. I didn't talk to right, right. But, like my actual homies that have been with me since like fifth grade playing Minecraft. I talked to them. Are Were you, you a big me? PC gamer growing up? Bro. Same. I was the biggest gamer of all time. I was I was a little nerd, bro. What were your games, bro? Oh, bro. Every bro. RuneScape. I, I seriously think, seriously, and I put this on everything when Black Ops 2 came out, I actually think I could have went pro. You were that good. Bro. I'm telling you, that was the one game you can put anyone in that chair and I'd beat. Dude. In in one v one quick scope, you're done in that game. So you could have beat FaZe Banks. Hundred percent. You just destroyed that. Hundred percent. Damn. Hundred percent. I saw you game at uh that gaming thing a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but that was two K. Two K. And I never That's not played two K. No. Okay. And the other but, guy played too. But yeah, he plays two K every day. Yeah. He's like a and pro. And you still put up a good fight. I lost by five. You almost won. I almost won. You, I was up by three. Like my I was up three points. Yeah. In like the third quarter. For someone that doesn't play, that's like Pretty yeah, good. I like never, n never play 2K. Um, and then we played COD and we 6 0 swap them. Wow. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I mean, so FPS was like your main games? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. And like GTA and just all that. I was a gamer, bro. You get into Fortnite would, at all or no? Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. I, I would go to basketball practice and come home and skip my homework and just game. <laughs> oh, yeah. I but that. I just, I didn't make content like around it. Like, I have no gaming content. Uh, Zero. Zero. Damn. Yeah. Is that a regret of yours? Not really. Not really, because I feel like, especially now, if I did gaming content, I like how my content, I can travel. Like, right. I can interview whoever. I can travel to countries. I can do whatever. I feel like if I did games, I'd be stuck in my room. Yeah. And it'd feel way more like an actual job to me. And I tell everyone, don't, like, do stuff. I don't know how I say it. It's like, <laughs> it's like make your job not a job so you mm. love it. If that makes sense. No, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. When it feels like a job. When it feels like, when it feels like a job, your love goes. It goes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. Because you see some gamers looking stressed like Ninja lately. Oh, yeah. I see clips of yeah. him like bitching about. Well, he has $200 million. He can go, bitch. <laughs> he, go cry in your Lamborghini, man. Yeah. No, yeah. but I see him complaining about Fortnite and stuff. I'm like, oh, well, I mean, yeah. he That I understand. I feel like Fortnite's dog shit now. You so. think so? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, back from what it came from, I feel like these like, I don't know who's in charge of games, but... When something works, they're always like, oh, we got to change it to make it better. It's right. like, it's working. <laughs> like, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> and every time they bring the old map back, everyone's boom, on. Explodes. All my boys are on. I was playing. It's like, dude. You ever loaded? Yep. Yeah. There's that some great. sweats in that game. No, right? I know. I know. Uh, I can't game like I used to. Kids are too nasty now. Oh, I can't either. Yeah, I can't either. COD, I bet I could hold up. What's I your, play like every week. What's your KDR? I would say in a new COD now. I think in what MW3 it was like 1.8. Okay. So it's not terrible. Yeah, it's pretty solid yeah. for a part-time player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's dope. How many view views were you getting at your peak per month? Oh, bro. 200, 300 mil. Holy. In total, probably four or 500 mil. Dude, is that made me TikTok? Yeah, TikTok and then YouTube. Holy crap. Oh yeah. Oh, dude, dude I was pulling like easily. 100, 200 mil every month. Dude, so you were printing money. Well, TikTok doesn't pay. Oh, was that before they paid? Oh, bro. Oh. I made nothing. Because that Off been, TikTok, I made nothing. That would have been a lot now, right? Bro. If, bro, if I, I probably could do the math right now. If I made all my videos and got the same views that I did back then when TikTok was at its prime, I'd probably have made over like a mil, two mil. Damn. Just, just all views. Just like, all no TikTok. brand deals, nothing. Yeah. Like, Oh, dude. That's insane. Yeah. Just don't for, don't bring that up to me. <laughs> don't bring that up. A lot of success is timing, dude. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. right place, right well, time. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's not luck, but in my opinion, it's luck. Uh, like I started social media the day TikTok came out. Wow. Like, And I got on TikTok when it just dropped. I feel like that's lucky. I feel like if I try to do what I did three years ago, hell no. Right. It'd be tougher. Yeah. So much Logan tougher. and Jake with Vine. Vine yeah, came out. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. So I don't know. Because yeah. I started when there was the Hype House and the Sway House and like all the big houses. Yeah. So I feel like that was just everyone was in quarantine watching videos. No one was doing. Yeah. I feel like it was peak timing. What do you think caused the downfall of TikTok? Oh, that TikTok shop. 
Oh, the shop? Oh, bro. Killed it. Oh, why? Absolutely. That's all I see. That's oh, it's all too they much, care about. Everywhere? They want to make TikTok Amazon. Okay. 100%. 100%. So that killed Which the... I get it. They're profiting more than they were. Right. And I respect that. But as creators, completely, like, it's not the same at all. I do see it as soon as I log in everywhere. That's all like it is. Like every, what, three videos, That's four videos? That's all it is. And then everyone's like, oh, it's only a U.S. thing. Okay, 80% of viewership is U.S. Right. So <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say yeah, when people yeah. are like, it's not every, okay, fine, take out 20%. Sorry. Like, yeah. Do you think the lives helped or made it worse? I think the lives help creators because, dude, I know creators that you might not he- even have a good following on TikTok. Yeah. You 2,000 followers, and you'll be making 10,000 like every week what? on live. Dude, I know people making tens of hundreds of thousands off these stupid live streams, and they have 50 viewers. How? It, just people donating. Holy shit. Donating, dude. I've been in lives before where someone would just give someone 5K. What? And, oh, yeah. And the creator would just be like, thank you. No. Doing that, like, like NPC. Like yeah, the, yeah. Whatever. Dude, like, I tell everyone, if you are bored and you're jobless and you don't know what to do, start a TikTok. <laughs> I'm being so Holy serious. 1,000%. Sh- I didn't know it was like that. I do oh, see, uh, I see Jason Nash on live a lot. Yeah. So he must be making money. Yeah, he, then. yeah he's just a different story. <laughs> he's just, I don't know. Damn. I don't know. Why? I feel like how it's been going is if you see a creator on TikTok shop, it means they have no money. That's kind of oh, really? that's kind of like the like link. I don't know. Because they are getting a, a percent of the sale, right? I would say so. Yeah, forty percent or whatever. Yeah. Damn, that's wild. Yeah. Yeah, TikTok changed a lot from what it used. My views are down. Are they? I a feel lot. like everyone's are a lot. Yeah, yeah. And on YouTube. Yeah, well, I don't I mean, know if it's it, cause... it just oversaturated, and they're not pushing creators; they're pushing TikTok Shop. Right. If you see the videos that have TikTok Shop items in it, they're getting millions of likes. Really, bro? Oh, people sh- stand, dude. Like TikTok can push whatever the right. it wants. Right. Just one button, bro. We want TikTok Shop videos, okay? If you don't have a TikTok Shop, it's not that you won't get views. You won't get nothing near what these creators do with like TikTok Shop. Yeah. Do you feel like your views went down when you announced you were pro Trump? No. It didn't matter? No. Because on Instagram and YouTube for me, when I posted a lot of right-wing stuff, my views went down. Dude, I, I got so many DMs and just applause. Really? Bro. Damn. Bro. Yeah, it could have been the Sneeko one then. Something got me. Yeah, I, maybe my fan base is just like, I don't know. I feel like like I feel like Bryce has a fan base where everyone would back him. Right. You know, so yeah, maybe that's why. Because I made really edgy content. So yeah. I feel like a lot of my followers are edgy. So I, I, like I don't know if that means they're all, tr- I don't know. I don't know. I'm really not into politics that much. Like, I'm really not. Yeah. But I mean, the way you grew up. <laughs> makes, oh, yeah. No, <laughs> makes sense. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Traumatized. Sure. Well, it's been fun. Anything yeah. you want to close off with here? Um, Dude, I'm chilling. CPT. Finally. Baby. Yeah. CBT is tomorrow. Finally, after two years, we got in. We got it in. Um, I feel like that's honestly partially my bad. I no, like you're A lot good. of times, like, hey, can you come? And then I say yes. And, I'm, and I end up not coming to Vegas. And it's just a whole. But we're here. We're good. We'll hoop next time, bro. All right. Yes, sir. Thanks a lot, guys. Peace.